What is up guys, The Otter Gamer here bringing you a first look of Insurgency, Insurgency 2 actually to be technically correct. Um, this was developed by a small team on the Source engine called New World Interactive. The small indie team tried to make a tactical first person shooter. By that I mean they tried to make it kind of gritty and unique in the fact that they try to make it as realistic as possible. What I mean by that is you have very low health, you'll die in one to two hits, so you have to be very tactical, be very precise, know where your teammates are at all times. Uh, your sprinting will affect your weapon spray, uh, sway and your fatigue, and your hip firing is not centered on the screen, so your gun will bob up and down, left and right, and you know, it tried to make it as real realistic as they can and trying to fit that really niche market to make it different than first person shooters like Call of Duty and Battlefield and Planet Side and all of those. And with that, let's jump into a game, shall we? So let's see, we can play some firefight, search and destroy, or escort missions. Um, I'm not quite sure. Uh, notice you can play up to 32 players on this, so that's always nice. Um, let's just hit find game and get thrown in to one of them. And here we are on the loading screen. If it takes too long, I'm going to cut this all out for you guys. Oh, that wasn't too bad. All right. So here's where we have to wait while they finish the last game. So when it pops in, I will get back to you guys. All right, guys, so we are now in the game here, and I'm gonna select an M16. Uh, let's do, what do we want? Holographic sight. Uh, yes, heavy barrel. And we'll call that good. So we'll resupply and get going here. So here's what it looks like. Here's all the people on my team here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we're playing eight on eight. I'm not quite sure. So, all right. So I'm gonna follow my teammates here. Um, as you can see, for being an indie game and just a small, I think it's like a seven, eight man team. The graphics in this are, I would consider phenomenal. Oh God, I'm being shot at. Where am I being shot at from? Not like this. Okay. Um, also, I really like the sound in this game. I think they did a very good job. Um, I wish it wasn't toggle crouch. I'm going to have to fix that later. You can fix that in the settings menu. Oh, hello. I think people can hear me. Let's see. Okay, let's reload here. And I'm going to do something stupid and run out here. Oh, God. I am surprised I am not dead. Oh, God. Run. Okay, guys, we're taking Charlie. Watch it. He went that way. Let's get him. Oh, and there we go. So that's what happens when you die. You just kind of fall over. Um, and then you spectate some of the people on your team. So we'll wait to respawn here. And while we're waiting, uh, let's talk about a few other things in the game. Uh, you can put more equipment on your gun. You can get more equipment on your body. You know, more like vests and, you know, bombs and all sorts of stuff. But as you add stuff to your character, the increased weight will make you, like, run slower and just, you know, decrease your movement speed whether that be snapping up, reloading, all that kind of stuff, just because of the weight of your equipment. So they really thought of a lot of good things that I would really like to see in some of the other first-person shooters out there. Um, I'm sure that a lot of these things are in other games, but this just puts them all up into one package for you guys. And, you know, I think it was very well thought out and just a really excellent game. Um, and I'd like to see these guys finally finish this game up so we can pop into another one and, and play some more. So let's see where we're at. Nice. There we go. No All right. Oh, we're victorious. Excellent. 
So, looks like I got two kills and one death. I'm okay with that. Um, like I said, guys, I'm really digging these graphics and the sound in this game. Uh, very well done. The maps themselves seem to be very nicely laid out. There's not specific kind of lanes or anything. Um, okay, let's let's see how we do in this one here. Let's see. How do I... Okay, there's... Okay, press 2 to switch the pistol. Oh, I should have switched my toggle to crouch. Alright, let's see if we can get some kills. I saw one person run by. Oh, also notice that you don't see your ammo count in this game. Um, but you'll see a magazine count. Uh, which is like real life if you reload a magazine that's not empty you lose those bullets or use them later or what have you but i think that was a cool touch uh not very many things have that and just in general there's not a lot to the heads up display in this game it's very minimalistic um just kind of does what it needs to Let's see if i can run around There's a guy up here. Let's see if we can get around him. I'm gonna try and sneak up behind him. I think your footsteps get louder as you get more weight as well. Did we get him? Oh, we got him! Excellent! Uh, go team. I think I killed the guy on the right. I think my teammate here killed the guy on the left. Let's see. We're gonna be very careful and sneaky here. Good job, teammate. Alright. Shh! We're hunting rabbits. Saw a guy over here. Did you guys see him too? I'm gonna just peek this corner slightly. I'm acting like when I talk quieter, they can't hear me as much. There's a teammate. We got hey, this, we buddy. It's just you and me. I feel like this is not a good position. But nobody sees me or else I'd be dead. So let's try. That's not what I want. Grenade? No, that's a knife. Do I not have grenades? I might not have grenades. Let's peek some, this corner here. I'm all that's left? Are you serious? Okay. I am the last man on our team. And everybody is laughing at me right now because they can see my kill. Bravo's under attack. Bravo's under attack. As you can see, I'm not very good at this game. But I got one kill. Run, run, run. I don't know where that came from. Oh god! Oh, and we're dead. Alright, so that kind of showcases some of the gameplay. Um, it's very, very tactical. I think they did a very good job. Um, and honestly, there's a lot of gameplay in this that is very team-oriented. So if you can get a really good team to play with, that would be awesome. I'm going to exit the main menu here because this is the end of our first look of Insurgency. If you guys haven't taken a look at this yet, I strongly recommend that you do so. Uh, especially if you like first-person shooters like I do. Um, it's very unique, very different than all of the other competition out there. You know, the Battlefield and Call of Duty and Planet Side and... I don't know if you count Gears of War, that's more of a third-person shooter. But definitely give this one a shot. And if you do, let me know. We'll play together. Anyways, this is the Otter Gamer. If you like this, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. But please, please leave a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. And thank you guys for watching. See Otter.